Hi, this is Shannon from SIS for Teachers. We're so glad that you're joining us on this voyage of our SIS for Students virtual math series. Today we're starting off with our first game that you can play. It's a strategy game that you can play at home. In the video after this, you can watch the tutorial on how you can bring this really fun and easy game into your classroom. If you don't have the two-sided counters that I'm using in the video, feel free to just go in a change jar that you might have and use 10, maybe 12 pennies, and then you can use one nickel to kind of play. If you don't have any you know, loose change around the house, go in the pantry and grab some Cheerios, and maybe that could be your 12 Cheerios could be the actual apples that we're working on with the rotten apple game, and you can grab a Cheez-It or something to be the rotten apple. The key to this game at home is to really talk with your children about the strategy that they're using. How are they winning? How are they losing? How are they trying to create strategies to make it so that you lose or their brother, brother loses? You can kind of have kids sort of come up with theories on how they think they can win. Will their theory always win the same every time they play, or is it only in certain conditions that their strategy will win? This really helps bring out the eight mathematical practices to help kids have strategies as to how they can be better at you know, thinking about how they think about math. Ultimately, we're trying to question their thinking and their metacognition. We hope that you're on our Facebook group, which is SIS, for students in a special Facebook group that you can post pictures of how you and your family are playing Rotten Apple, tell us who's the most strategic, share out some of your strategies. We'd love to hear you from you and hope that you have a great time playing our first game today.